Hello, fellow duelists and collectors. Today I'm going to be showing you my deck binder that is mainly a collector's item, I would say, for people who more collect than play the game. But it's a collection of cards that are either structure decks out of the deck box or cards that are good for certain decks. It's got a variety of cards in it. I'll just get right into it. First, we have the Cyber... Um, actually, I think it's Link Strike. Yeah, Link Strike Structure Deck, which is one of the more recent decks that is first in the binder. And some people might think I'm crazy for leaving all the cards from the original deck in, but that's just me, what I like to do as a collector. And then we have Cyber Slink, which is another earlier Structure Deck, which was pretty good. Second wave. And then we have the Synchron Extreme structure deck, which was super cool. I, probably my favorite structure deck ever, just because I love Synchrons. Unless they made a Blackwing structure deck, that would take the top rank for me. So yeah, there's a Synchron Extreme. And then we have the um, Dragons Collide structure deck, which was about the um, Twilight Dragon, so to speak, deck which I used three of these, and this is the fourth, but I used three to build the Twilight deck that I have way early on my channel. And then we have the Saga of the Blue Eyes deck, which I took some cards out of to build my Blue Eyes deck, which I haven't shown you guys yet, but will soon. But I took some out to build the Blue Eyes deck, but I'm, I left most in here just because I like the deck a lot. And I'll probably put the original Blue Eyes from this deck back in because I don't really need them for my Blue Eyes deck I built. And here's some Blue Eyes cards that are just good for Blue Eyes, right? And then we have the, um, ooh, which one is this? It was like a Warlords. It was like Samurai Warlords structure deck. Or, um, it? Warlords Approach or something. I'm not really sure, but it's the Six Samurai structure deck that came out way back when. So that was pretty cool. And then more Six Samurai cards. And then we have the um, the the fairy structure deck. What was it? it was L E um, or L S? I don't remember what it was called actually. It's been a long time, but it's the fairy structure deck from way back when with Hyperion as the uh, the cover card. I can't believe I don't remember the name of that one. Damn. And there's that. So and then there's the um, Ixies, what was it called? It was called um, Intro to the Ixies. I can't remember, sorry for the delay. But it was the Ixies starter deck that came out when Ixies got big and Utopia came out. Our friends and I bought like a whole box of them, so we got like eight in total. So there are literally four right here. So that's pretty crazy. And then after the decks that are straight out of the boxes, then we have other cards that are for certain decks. So we have like Twilight uh, Light Sworn cards before Light Sworn cards that are all just pretty much spares since I have three Light Sworn decks. I don't really use any of these. And then there's um, Spellcaster cards, which I'm, I doubt that any of them would be like really good in the new Spellcaster decks of today, but they're not bad. And then we have Synchron or Synchro cards that are good for Synchros. I'm really sad that Love Leader's out of the game because it was so good for Synchros. God. <clears throat> and we have some Elemental Heroes that are just spare cards for the Elemental Hero deck I built. And then there are Gemini cards for if I ever were to build a Gemini deck again, which I did way back in the day. Oh, Dark Factor Mass Production. I kind of forgot I had that. That, that could be uh, good for sale. Then there's Amazonas cards. My buddy and I might build an Amazonas deck, but I doubt it. I, it's on the way back burner. And then Dark World cards, which I don't even have the ones that you really need to make a good deck of it, so I'm not gonna try. Then there's the Water Dragon random stuff. Uh, Crash Bugs, pretty random. And then the Cyber Dark cards, which would be cool to use if I could build a deck out of those. Um, extra Mech Lord cards, extra Dragon cards. that are just a bunch of random dragons dragon related cards 
And then there's uh, some Galaxy cards, so that's cool. Galaxies are coming back, I like that. Um, Machina cards, for that Machina deck from way back when. And Machine cards in general, Mecha Phantom Beasts. And then there's, there's these are like random cards I got out of packs and stuff more recently. We got like Odd Eyes Raging Dragon, Magician of Dark Illusion, which is pretty cool. Another Odd Eyes, Zodiac Dryden. Um, I got an Odd Eyes Pendulum in Super Rare, which is interesting. Um, oh, and then we have like, these are like Twilight-ish cards, like Sphere of Chaos and Chaos and Master go together. And then we have a Caius. We have the Demise King from the original one from back in the day. We got a Vampire Genesis from that Vampire deck and just some random cards. And then there's some dragon cards right here that are more of a random dragon section, I guess. This um, Kaiju, definitely a good, if one of the better Kaijus, I think, actually. Um, yeah, just random dragons. And then there's staple cards that work in almost any deck. Um, and then these are just random, like, collector's cards of mine that... <laughs> this deck gets kind of random towards the end, or this binder gets random towards the end. But these are just, like, collector's cards that I think are cool. Like, these two, if you got that video game back in the day, were super cool. It was really weird to see them. And then we got some uh, Ancient Gears and Cybers. And um, that stuff. This, don't even pay attention to. It's just random stuff from when I was uh, in a different time making my own custom cards. We'll just cover that for a sec. And we have like the World Chalice cards. And we have the um, couple Constellars, Stellars. And we have a Code of the Duelist cards. Since I had gotten a lot of those, a lot of them have been taken out to build decks and stuff, but these are just like the rares and other stuff. Gokies, those are getting pretty big, so I'm holding on to these for now. Um, random machine cards from the set. Oh, all the Supreme Kings. I thought that was pretty cool. And then these are just the cards from the set, which I kept three of each just in case I wanted to build a deck. So the ones that I had at least three of. And then there's random Medulces, if I was to ever build a Medulce deck, which I doubt I would. And there's some Pendulum cards that are pretty cool, if I ever actually go into a Pendulum deck, which maybe. And then there's Watts, which was a lost cause. So that is it for the deck binder, I suppose, is what I would call it. And I hope this was enjoyable, entertaining for you guys who are also collectors and not as much players. Since I don't play very often, this is what I derive joy out of. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to see more like this, please subscribe. And if you like this video, please give me a like. Thank you.